Hello beautiful people and thank you for joining me. This is Free Edge Monkey and uh, I'm gonna try to show you some additional features for Kleinerbeer's tutorial series. Um, that means in, in fact switching off the sun at night inside the complex sun at night cycle template of him. Um, well there was a bug so uh, the light was shining through the floor and uh, I fixed this and I gonna show you how to fix this in this uh, small tutorial. Um, let's jump up into the game and hit play. As you can see the sun is going down and it's not quite dark, it's bright. Well, the sun is going up again. Let's stop here and uh, jump into the blueprint and uh, I'm gonna show you what I have so far. Well, to prevent this, that the sun isn't shining through the floor anymore, um, just I oh wait, I forgot something. Just um, add a skylight to your map, just take it and drag it out and just place it uh, somewhere on the map. Um, it is located here. Um, that makes the vision or the environment look much more realistic and uh, the shadows are this dark, it seems better, I think. I like it. <laughs> so, um, now we can go to the blueprint. I added these functions uh, inside the blueprint sky sphere and not in the complex day and night cycle uh, template. Well, let's jump into it. Uh, inside the update sun direction, just scroll to the end of the blueprint after the function sets color parameter value and at the branch. And in this branch, we gonna check um, if the sun height is smaller than zero. We go to two. And if it's not, false. Well, so let's take the sun height. It's already inside here. You can copy this or the get it. Well, let's try get sun height. There it is. You can get it. Well, jump into the true. Um, if it's true, we take the directional light actor, which means the directional light, the sun, and uh, drag out a wire and set its intensity. Just set intensity, and there it is. Well, um, and when it's below zero or below the horizon, we set its intensity to zero. Also, the set cast shadows function. So I set it to false because it's night and uh, it should cast, shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't cast uh, shadows at all. Well, but uh, for this we need a night component. Just drag out, oh well, the auto save function. Give it a second. Okay. Just drag out a wire here and uh, try to get the light component details. Okay. Afterwards, I take my light uh, skylight actor. This is a uh, 
variable I created before. The variable type is skylight and I set it to uh, editable. Uh, because of this you can uh, change the skylight actor in the default settings of the uh, complex, no, that was a lie, of a uh, blue green sky sphere <coughs> and uh, set the skylight actor to this skylight. Jump back into it again, drag out and wire here and, uh, oh, whoa, sorry, set its intensity to 0 0.02 and on the fold side set the intensity of the directional light actor to 5, the light component set cast shadows to true because it's day again and the skylight actor set its intensity to 0 0.5 this should work now. Let's check this if everything is connected. Yeah, that looks fine for me. Compile, save, and hit play again. Well, and it's working. It's quite dark. The sun should came up back again. There it is. And it's bright. Sun is moving below the horizon and it's dark again. But that's a bit of a cut up. So I prevent this cut with uh, this one. I prepared this. Just give me a second to build it in again. Let's make some place. So I created another variable called uh, intensity, which is a float, and I set it between the branch and the set scalar parameter value. Set this intensity. Well, uh, how we will get this intensity? Just take. Uh, get the directional light actor, drag out the wire, the light component again, and afterwards the intensity. Get intensity. And connect it with the, our intensity which we created before. So, now this small part Just copy paste. Um, directly after the true or between the branch and the set intensity, I created this compare uh, float. And uh, while the float or the intensity input is bigger than zero, it's bigger. Well, I need some space. Give me a second. And while it's uh, bigger than zero, I take the float intensity minus 0 0.1 and set its intensity to this value. That's a kind of a smooth, uh, which means a tick because it's repeating over and over until it's zero. So, that's all so far. Let's try it out. Ah, I forget one. Um, if I hit play, you will see this strange lightning effect. Yeah, and the glow on my, uh, or glitter on my uh, character. That's because the shadows. So we have to enable the shadows. Um, if we have this move function inside, we have to enable the shadows again here. Set it to true. Compile, 
save, hit play. And it's getting darker and it's dark. Let's wait for the sun again. Come out, sun, come out! There it is. It's getting brighter. Brighter. And the sun is down. And the light is off. Well, I hope you enjoyed my quick tutorial and uh, the bug fix for Kleinabir's tutorial or the feature. Um, this video is for all of you guys out there which uh, are using the system for their projects. And uh, for Kleinabir, he can use my uh, video in his tutorial if you like or if you like uh, to use it so it's not a problem for me uh, you can use my ideas and uh, if you want I can delete this video again because it's useless without your tutorial and um, thank you that uh, you joined me and uh, see you next time bye bye